Hey everybody, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter with another 30 days of WrestleMania uh, for WrestlingMayhemShow.com. And today we are talking about WrestleMania 18, WrestleMania X8. We're still got that weird kind of branding going on with WrestleMania. It made it edgy for the time because it was the early 2000s and there's no actual proper identity for it uh this is of course returning to the toronto sky dome which was very appropriate because we did have hulk hogan against the rock which guys this still holds up it's not a great wrestling feat but it's a great storytelling feat and watching the rise and return of hulk hogan to form um is really tremendous watching the people turn on rocky is a lot of fun um, and that reaction that they played off the uh, 24 seven rolled hardcore championship, Molly Holly it, it involved in that a whole bunch of people. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And I miss those things that we, we talked about recently in the last couple months on the shows, like miss the intertwining kind of backstage, you know, stuff that isn't just let's go talk to the authority or whatever the, the situation may be. Um, and really, and you also forget because, you know, I remember the cover and everything. It was really overshadowed with Hulk Hogan and The Rock. And uh, they there was still, you know, Chris Jericho was in a main event at WrestleMania. And this was it, you know. And I think he might have maybe had another one later. Um, coming in as the first unified champion against Triple H, who was returning from, a, from I think it was his quad injury. It was his quad, actually, because it was when he was doing the pedigree on um on, on a table, and I think he was still, it was hurt, and uh, anyways, um, but still a lot of memorable stuff, memorable stuff out of this, like I said, the Hogan Rock really kind of headlining that, we're still full-fledged into the uh, new metal explosion when it comes to, <laughs> when it comes to this era, um, I'll have a big problem with WrestleMania 19 if I remember when I get to it, um, but we're getting, you know, in the, in this era alone, we're getting, you know, bands like Drowning Pool and Saliva, and everything, you know, showing up at these things. And again, it felt big again, you know? It, it felt huge. And it's it's what we like. Uh, you know, we, we started off with uh, Rob Van Dam, for instance, taking on William Regal. Uh, Regal, of course, in the last edition we were talking about, opened up with Jericho. You know, and it was like, Regal was, Regal was there, man. You know, it, it, it's tremendous. Um, NWO, this is our appearance of NWO. I, think. I, I can't recall why Kevin Nash didn't have a match. Um, but that's unfortunate to a point, I guess, you know, uh, we had three way ladies, ladies action, Trish, uh, Lita, two of my favorites, uh, and jazz. I forgot how awesome jazz was. She was just a tough chick and, uh, and she, she actually pops up in uh, WrestleMania 19 as well. I think in another three way, they were big on the three ways. Yeah. Uh, back then. So, uh, again, WrestleMania uh, 18. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, I thought it was a lot of fun. One of the better WrestleManias uh, across the board. Um, again, back to the spectacle. Back to the showcase of Immortals, as we start to say during this era. Um, so, uh, go check that out. And check out all the rest of the 30 days of WrestleMania. Let us know what you thought about some of the WrestleManias uh, compared to my, my re-watching of a lot of them here uh, on WrestlingMayhemShow.com on this video or wherever you have it. And share it around. Share it around if you're digging this kind of stuff. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.